Okay, so today we are going to be using size one hooks, mustad, um, and uh, we are going to be making a baby tarpon fly. It's going to be red and white, made with only fresh whiting hackles. So, uh, shall we? Or shall we not? I think we shall. First, we need to uh, attach a thread. So first we attach a white thread at the bend of the hook. Go down the hook. Go back up the hook. Alright. Not that hard to see. Then, what we're going to do is you're going to go into my feather drawer here white hackle and so what we do with this we just take we just want one or two or three let's do three or a bunch either one is good <laughs> But, uh, so what you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to keep them all in one hand. Let's take three. And just cut them where you want them to be. As short or as high as a, or as tall, or as long, or as thick, as you want them to be. Okay? Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now, I want mine not to be that long, so I'm going to cut them this thick. Or this long, I mean. And, uh, then... What we do is, we just place them on there, and then we just do one loose wrap, and some tight wraps, just to make it sure that it is in place. Alright, then go all the way back up and uh, then we tie on some red hackles. You can make them really any color you want for a baby tarpon. Baby tarpons aren't really picky. <laughs> They're babies. So, uh... You can do any color you want. It's just red and white is a very popular color. So I like doing red and white. But you can do red and blue. I mean, not red and blue. White and blue. Uh, white on green. White on chartreuse. But uh, just feel free to use your imagination, you know? Um... These feathers don't really want to come out, so I'm going to have to pluck them out myself. There we go. Now what we're going to do... Oh, no, no. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to actually not tie them on like that, but we're going to tie them on like you would you were wrapping them so you cut off and pick the stuff that you don't want I don't think that's thin enough so 
We'll go back and cut it as soon as I pick all this stuff off. And there we go. And now what you're going to do is you're going to wrap one, two, three, four, five times. Then wrap all the way forward. And then just wrap the hackles around the hook shank. Homer it forward as you're doing it though. So it looks like And then, yeah, you can do a, uh, let's do two more hackles, because I don't think we went far enough forward to where the, um, the head is. So I think we can go a little bit more forward to where the head of a fish is. So we just keep on wrapping and palmering forward as we wrap. Just to That should do it for that part. And then you're just gonna expect the obvious and uh, wrap forward to the hook eye. And that's a pretty easy fly.